Today, we're showcasing Eatprod. In this video, I'll walk you through how to customize your WordPress excerpts, and we'll do it with no code. I'll show you three different methods so you can pick the one that works best for you. Hey there, I'm Christina with WP Beginner, where we teach all about WordPress so you can grow your website and reach your audience. And what I'm talking about with excerpts is by default, WordPress will show an excerpt on say your homepage if you have blog posts on your homepage, if you have a blog page that shows all your blog posts, any category pages, they will also show the excerpts as well. You have the opportunity to customize these and I'll show you three different methods. The first method is just the default method where you can go into WordPress post and change up the excerpt here. For instance, I'll go to a post that I want to update. You can either edit or create a new one and under the post, and then scrolling all the way down, you'll see an excerpt area. From here is where you can write the excerpt of the post. And then once you update the post, then when you go back to your website and you see this here, so now it's been updated on the excerpt. And then when you click on it, it will actually just show the actual post. So the excerpt would be quite different than what the actual post shows. Now, if you are still using the classic editor, don't worry, you can go up to screen options and find the excerpt check bar here. And then once you do that, you can scroll down and now you have the excerpt here so that you can update that as well. Now, if you notice from the original excerpt that it had, there's no longer a continue reading or sometimes you might see read more. So you can still click on the title or if you have a featured image, you can click on the featured image and it will take you to the post. Method two allow you to add the add more tag to your post and this will allow you to customize the excerpt as well. So for this method, I'm going to add a new post and have whatever information you want. And then depending on where you want the add more tag, you simply go to the area, go on a new line and you can either click on the plus here or come up to the top and click on plus and then look for more. We'll click on this and then everything up here will show up in the excerpt. When you are on the read more block, you can also come over under block. And if I choose to hide the excerpt on the full content page, I'll show you what that looks like. Now, when I go to it and I see it, then we can click on the title of it. And then you see that the items be ahead of the read more are now gone. So you can choose whether or not to do that. Again, if you are still using the classic editor, you still have access to the add more. You simply go to the line where you want it to be and make sure you can see the insert read more when you click on it it'll show up the read more and so anything above that will show up in the excerpt and then the third method is simply if the first two aren't doing exactly what you need to do you can use a plugin so we're going to go to plugins add new and from here we need to search for advanced excerpts this is the one we want so let's go ahead and click install now and make sure you stick around to activate the plugin as well. Here you see it's activated, so you could either go to settings or if you ever need to come back, you can go on the left down to settings, excerpt to make your changes. From here, you can choose the excerpt length that you want. And down here, you can also choose to finish it in either mid word or mid sentence. You can also add the read more link excerpt and you can change this to continue reading or something else that you want it to say. You can also choose to open it in a new link if you want, whether you want to make the whole excerpt its own link, and you can also choose to disable it on certain areas of your website. And once you click save changes, you can see that in action when you go and visit your site and you see it's added the continue reading area, cuts it off with 40 words or less. And if you want even more control over how your landing pages look and the look and feel of some of your pages, you want to do an easy drag and drop feature on your pages, then take a look at SeedProd. SeedProd is the best landing page plugin on the market and you can get started by creating a new landing page and they have several templates to choose from. So if you're doing anything like a coming soon page, you want to do a webinar page, a sales page is very important. You have all of these templates to choose from to get started and then you can customize it even further. To get started with SeedProd, just head over to SeedProd.com and make sure you use promo code WPBVIP to get the best discount on SeedProd. And thanks for watching.